Hello, today inshallah we are going to uh, solve the complex circuits. Complex circuits basically is consisting of um, different types of resistors. So we have here parallel resistors. This is a series resistor. This is a parallel resistor. And this is also a series resistor. So in order to get the question basically is to find the current that is passing through each resistor and also to find the voltage that is passing through or that is supporting each resistor. So our resistors here are RA, RB, RC, RD, RE and RF. So the question is to find IA and VA. IB, VB, IC, VC, ID, VD, and so on. So we need to find each and, sing, uh, each and every single component of the circuit. First of all, I need to get the equivalent of each circuit. As you can see, we will have to start with the series circuit. So let's combine those, those which is R equivalent, one, which would be equal to five, plus seven, which would be um, 12 ohms and then draw your circuit so my circuit would be like that this is 12 ohms and this is a 4 ohm and this is also a 4 ohm and this is a 4 ohm and I have one resistor here which is 2 ohms and this one the battery and okay. so I drew the all, the, the all of the components again here I just combined the series circuit which is 12 then you have two parallel circuits this is a parallel circuit and this is a parallel circuit so get their equivalents let's get the equivalent one so R equivalent parallel one which would be equal to 1 over 12 plus 1 over 4 Reciprocal, Eight. which would be equal to 3 ohms. Then let's get R equivalent to parallel, R equivalent to parallel 2, which is equal to 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 reciprocal, which would be equal to 2 oh. ohms. Now I combine this and I combine this in 3 and 2 ohms. Let's draw the circuit. So when we draw the circuit now, we have one resistor here and we have one resistor here one of them is three ohms and the other one is two ohms and i have the original one which is two ohms and i have the battery which is 14 volt now i have three series resistors so let's get the component the component basically will be I mean the equivalent 3 plus 2 plus 2 so R equivalent series which would be equal to 3 plus 2 plus 2 which would be equal to 7 ohms and this is the total one this is the capstone of the whole circuit so the equivalent would be it looks like that and I have a battery here which is 14 volt and this is 7 ohms so from this circuit I can get the I equivalent of the circuit right so I equivalent total of the circuit would be equal to let's make our calculations uh, here so I equivalent uh, let's let's make them here I equivalent total would be equal to the 14 volt divided by 7 which would be 2 amps 2 amperes which means that 2 amperes is passing here 2 amperes is passing here 2 amperes is passing here also which means that 2 amperes is passing here 2 amperes is passing here to the total and here as well so as you can see I can get this one is RF, which means that here I found RF, the current that is passing through IF, because it is the only one that is attached to the wire, the original wire, so it has a 2 amps, so IF is 2 amperes, and I can get VF 
following the, the Coulomb's law, uh, uh, Ohm's law, which says that two multiplies by two multiplied by a, which is two also, gives you the voltage, which is four volt. So now I finished I F and V F. Okay, let's go back there. The I equivalent is two amperes. But I need the I that is passing through the 12 and the I that's passing through 4, which is not 2. It's a part of the 2. So I need to get the voltage of the equivalent. So let's get the voltage here of the equivalent. Let's get the voltage here of the equivalent. Okay. So let's, let's call this V uh, A B because it is A and B here. Or let's call it V1. And this is V2. So V1 which is for the parallel one is equal to the two amperes that we got multiplied by the equivalent three, which is six volt. V parallel two, which is the V here of this parallel equivalent would be equal to two plus two ohms, which is four volts. What does this mean? This means that this circuit is supported by 4 volts and this circuit is supported by 6 volts and we know that the, the voltage for the parallel circuit is the same so the voltage of the 4 ohms is 4 the voltage for the RE also is 4 so now it's easy for you to find the current the I, D and I, E how we can find it? 4 divided by 4 gets you ID. 4 divided by 4 gets you uh, IE. So ID is equal to 4 volt divided by 4 ohms, which is equal to 1 amperes. IE is the same also, 4 over 4 is equal to 1 amperes. If you notice that, what is the equivalent? Two amperes, right? Right? Yeah. The two is divided into one and one. And the total, one plus one is? Two. two. So I am correct. The same current is divided into two and two because they are equal resistances, right? So now I'm done with ID and IE and their voltage as well because I knew that they have four <laughs> volt and 4 volt. So I'm done with I, D, and I, E, and also V, E, and V, D. Now let's focus here. We got the V of this circuit, which is 6 volt. This means that the voltage of this part is 6, and the voltage of this part is 6. But don't forget that this part was a parallel here, or it was series, right? which is 12. So I'm dealing with a 12 and 4. 12 ohms and 4 ohms, right? And it is a 6 volt. 6 volt is passing, uh, is supporting the 12 ohms and 6 volt is supporting the 4 ohms. Can I get the current? Yeah. Yes. yeah, and it has the same volt, so I can get the current. The current which is passing through the 12, so the current I that is passing through the 12 ohms is equal to 6 divided by 12, which is 0.5, right? Yes. Ohms, uh, amperes. And the I that is passing through the 4 ohms, which is IC, is equal to 6 divided by 4, which is equal to 1.5 amperes. And if you added the amperes, you find, out, you find out that it is also equal to 2, which means I'm correct, right? Hmm? Am I correct? Yes. Very good. So I found IC and VC, and I'm done with them. Now, after finding the current that is passing through the 12, we found it, it's 0 0.5, 0.5 amperes. So here it is 0.5 amperes. Here it is 0.5 amperes, right? Because it's a series circuit. It has the same current, right? 
right? Can I get the uh, can I get the voltage of A and the voltage of B? Yeah, yeah. How? Multiply. Multiply. 0.5 times 5. 0.5 times 7. So V A is equal to 0.5 amperes multiplied by 5, which is 2.5, right? Yeah. Uh, volt. And VB is equal to uh, 0.5 multiplied by 7, which is 3.5 volt. Now I got everything. If you wanted to be sure of your answers, this one had 1.5 and 1.5, and 0.5 it's 1 ampere. Let's be sure of the voltage, total voltage. The total voltage is 14, right? Right? Now how much is VF? Was 4 volt, right? What is the voltage of this parallel circuit? That, no, 4, right? And the voltage of this one? 6. 4 plus 4 plus 6? 14. So I'm correct. I'm totally correct. Okay, now we found every single part of the circuit. Thank you.